Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is your energy forecast for the month of June 2024. Let's get started with your overall energy messages for Virgo. Two of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Moon. Okay. One more, Ace of Cups. Two of Cups could be about a relationship here. You could be coming together with someone or this could be about a past relationship, past, present or something that is coming in. Um, okay. And it could also be about your own relationship, like with yourself, with the divine. There's that commission in here and this has also come with your own healing. The Hanged Man is pisces energy and this is a shift in perspective it's, it feels like it's not even a shift in perspective it's like a, an entire shift in paradigm 180 degree shift in paradigm here with the moon again pisces cancer energy depth shadows unknown and here we have ace of cups a lot of emotions here, new beginnings. Hmm. Okay, so you're having new beginnings or someone could be offering or coming in with an offer of new beginnings. This could be a water sign or you could have water in your chart. Okay. This could also be a couple on the outside, like a relationship on the outside that you have witnessed with the two of cups that is strong. Yeah, it could be some parental figures as well, or just a couple that you are. But this is a close relationship, all right? The first week, which is the week of the 27th, uh, we have four of swords. Feels like you are going in here or someone is. This is about meditation, grounding. So you you may be grounding yourself or you are in isolation. If this is a past energy, it may have been something that puts you in isolation. All right. So there could be something about that that is coming up. In the second week, we have eight of wands. Eight of wands is some fast movement in the form of communication. Um, not only communication, but also energy. So you could be feeling highly energetic, like feeling on the move here, or something may be coming in fast, like some kind of a, someone wanting to come in. But this is a fast movement, and it's that of manifestation. So it could be something that you have been manifesting that is coming in really fast. The third week, we have the world. This is abundance, expansion, completion um this is also your place in the world this is about purpose or what feels like this is where you belong or a sense of belonging yeah you could be going out there into the world it could be an online world with all that blue um yeah there's something here regarding also your protection yeah, some of you have been doing a lot of work here. You see that release and the moon energy as well with the Ace of Cups. Whatever you've done has brought you to this point. So this is in the third week and this just happens to be 21, number three. And there we have the Hanged Man, which is 12, 1, 2. Uh, so there's that 1, 2, 2, 1. You may be seeing that number a lot. So there's that reflective or mirroring energy that I'm getting on your part. And this was significant for the month of May as well. I remember getting reflection guardian for you. So there's something about looking in the mirror or looking in the waters and a lot of decluttering. Yeah, a lot of that. Okay. The fourth week, two of swords. This could be to do with the crossroads or something that may have made you to be at this point or it could be someone in your energy. All right, but this is something that may feel 
like which way to go could be opportunities could be someone coming in could just be an energy but there's there could be some events coming up regarding this during this week in the last week which is the week of the 24th of june queen of cups and there you are bouncing back or there could be a water sign here as well cancer pisces scorpio this could be a mother figure so there could be something to do with this person at the bottom of the deck we have the magician so this is about manifestation whether it's you doing your manifestation like working on something or someone doing this so if this is the case and if what i'm picking up here okay regarding shadow work then you definitely are needing to protect your energy whatever this is you're needing to protect your energy and to keep moving in that newness angels and ancestors what do you have for virgo she wolf unleash the world within interesting this came out for pisces as well warrior be fearless and stand strong A bit of warrior 88 don't back down make your opinions heard don't settle for second best if you are experiencing fear at this time know that this means whatever is going on is important to you whenever you feel fear you are on the verge of something big perhaps a massive breakthrough that is going to really help you move forward if you have a situation on your hands where you have to face someone or something that's been unsettling you, know that you're being guided to call up your inner warrior. Don't falter and don't be frightened because you have the energy to protect yourself now and at all times. The warrior within is made of light and has the capacity to shine even more brightly when facing darkness head on. And wow i'm just seeing the moon it's prominent in your reading okay so i want to get something else for you virgo because i feel like there are more messages that want to come out impatience this is through chakra energy um so there, there could be some one who wants to rush you into something or it could be an energy of feeling like you need to rush this could be just around the second week with this eight of wands if you feel this yeah don't allow anything or anyone to rush you at this time you have the divine working with you it does feel like you are right on track even as we see with the world card in the next week all right so this is to do with throat chakra energy is to do with the process of grieving and healing all together is the fact that it's indeed a process and no one needs to say oh you know you need to do this you need to do that or you have to do this at, at this time you go with what you know you know are the steps or the pace that you feel guided to all right this is what this impatience is given through chakra energy so it could be to do with speaking it could be oh wow it could even be someone making a remark for example okay mm. forgiveness so that is where that self-parenting that inner child healing comes in I see rejection. Uh, let's see something here. I feel like there are messages that are wanting to come out. Rejection is ivory tower. You no longer need to prove yourself. This is about understanding who you are and what you have created. Ivory allows others into your life. Choose wisely. Yeah. So this is about like 
owning your truth, owning where you are at, even if you have to walk alone. It's like you have a home and visitors come in and go out. At some point, you may have allowed, let's say, people, anybody to come in. And then as you build up your boundaries, your sense of worth, what happens is you choose who comes in and who stays out. Now, just because someone leaves, does that reduce the value of your home? No, you keep working on your home because it is yours. Let people come and go, but then at some point you get to even choose who does that. Because it is your home. So there's some emphasis on that. Situations that can come to make you feel like that. Or to make you feel like that. You're releasing all of that. Because it is you. It's your experience. It's the pace that you're going. And you don't move. All right, just like Facebook or YouTube. People come and go, but does it change the name? No, it doesn't. Right? So it's owning all of that. Okay. Impatience. Your desire to create may overpower the necessity of aligning with divine timing. The time to shine will come. Move with the energy and not in front of it. Being present has its own reward. Forgiveness. Amethyst protects us from toxic situations. This card indicates healing and allowing yourself to return to the natural state of peace once again. Remember, we never forgive others. We only forgive ourselves for loving others who betrayed us. This is a time of personal evolution. Wow, this is powerful. We never forgive others. We only forgive ourselves for loving others who betrayed us. This is a time of personal evolution. Rhonda is the hippo. Rhonda's true essence lies in not harboring resentment. She transcends forgiveness because her focus is on her intention, not on her pain. This may be a time of family healing. Can I forgive myself for loving people who hurt me? Wow. The key ideas are wishes fulfilled. Holding on to dreams, past wounding. So there's something about you holding on to your dreams no matter what. And that in itself is bringing you to your wish fulfillment. Wow. And that is that the key words are belonging, self-forgiveness, fulfillment. So this is where the world is coming. So it feels like you're having a major shift here in paradigm between the second and the third weeks. Wow, okay, I can't stop saying that. Um, all right, Virgo, I'm going to stop here for now and I wish you a blessed month. We'll come back with weekly readings. Do take care and much love. Bye-bye.